Valley Christian looking to advance to the CIF Division II semis, but first, they have to deal with Modesto Christian from the Sackwell Team section. This was a very intense back and forth, low scoring game, something that Modesto Christian is not used to. They average about 67.5 points per game with a 25 and six overall record. They actually was undefeated in league 14 and 0. Valley Christian on the other hand was five and five in league, 15 and 13 overall, but they're battle tested and it showed. Closing seconds of the first, Katie Mason drained the three giving the Warriors a one-point lead at the end of the opening period, 12 to 11. The second quarter, Crusaders try to speed up the tempo. Megan Warwick with a steal and the finish. But BC was quick to answer. GSF passed the ball, all-star Kiana Davis with a nice move to the hoop. And she'll wrap up the first half with a short jumper right before the time expired. 18 to 17, Valley Christian up at intermission. Third quarter, Modesto Christian started to knock down some shots. Warwick, along with Deja Bryant and Cassandra White, combined for 13 points. But guess what? So did Valley. Trinity Stark, Lizzie Moore, Caitlin Keating highlighted the third for the Warriors, but they got outscored 13 to 10 in the third. 30 to 28, VC trailed by two after three periods. Fourth quarter. Valley Christian exploded with nine unanswered points. First, the short jumper by Keating, followed by Stark's put back layup. And check out Camille Johnson with the gimme that takeaway and the three. That pumped up the entire gym. Seconds later, Johnson again with the big play, another forced turnover. Davis finished it up with the layup. 37 to 32, Valley Christian. Modesto Christian was led by Megan Warwick who finished with game high 13 points. But this was VC's night. Stark with another fast finish. He had nine points. The Crusaders did close the gap and got to within two. But VC made more free throws in the end and when it counted the most. Team high 12 points for Keating. Another GSF pass the ball all-star. Kiana Davis finished with eight points. Valley Christian Warriors is your winner. They'll play at Miramonte Tuesday night in the CIF State Division II semifinals. 45-39 as a final. This game was pretty bumpy. In the first half, we weren't really making shots. We were turning it over when we shouldn't be. But we came together as a team and um, at the in the middle to the end, and it paid off. Our teamwork was phenomenal at the end, like we never gave up and I'm just so proud of my team right now. At halftime it was just, we have to like, we had to pull things together because we weren't playing like well in the first half so then in the second half we just came out with a bunch of energy that made us play better. Just being focused for this game, I mean we're really excited just to make a run out here and just taking one game at a time and just even though this is going to be our last home game, it's exciting but fun at the same time so just a lot of excitement going through my mind. I mean, in the last two minutes like we played as a team and like all the energy like Camille brought and like it just helped us as a team. <laughs> Amazing. I was like, don't shoot him, then she pulled it and went in. That was great. So proud of her. When I got taken out and put it on the bench, I was like, oh, I don't want this to be my last game. And I was just praying to God. And I'm so glad my team, my team came through. And I'm just so proud of everything that we just accomplished right now. It's important just staying calm, like in a situation where that, like that, where the game is close, just keeping your mind focused and just knowing that your teammates are there to support you no matter what and just making good plays at the end like we did, so proud of my teammates and looking forward to the next game.